Hello, thank you YouTube, uh, YouTube viewers. Please go ahead and smash that like button, give a warm welcome to a great entrepreneur who's developed a fun little stuffed animal for toys. Because if we can get a bunch of likes on this, this can help her bring toys to children who truly want it. And uh, watch the rest of the video to uh, find out a little bit more about this toy and why these faces change emotions. Ow. Hello, this is Jesse with Animal Hat Finances, here with the cutest little toy. Actually, my hat's a little jealous of this toy. <laughs> so I'm here with Joanna. She is the developer of What's Its Face. And um, I'm going to ask her a few questions because as I've stated in some of my earlier videos, I'm going to do interviews with entrepreneurs and different financial experts so that we can all learn a little bit because it's about helping and some of that is stuff that entrepreneurs bring to us uh, that helps us uh, live a little bit of a better life and a cooler life. So Joanna, what inspired these? So I developed these toys um, because I was a very frustrated creative person. I was a graphic designer for 20 years. I left New York and I didn't really have a creative outlet. And I had kids and I, I didn't know what to do with myself. So um, I just wanted their lives to be a lot more fun. And so can I talk a little bit about what this does? Talk as much as you want. Okay, great. So um, when I started developing these toys, my daughter was at such a fun age, uh, I think she was about five, okay. and she was obsessed with stuffed animals. And she did everything with them. She, they went skydiving, they you know, competed in the Olympics, they you know, had their own little private school. And I just got such a kick out of watching her and her 10 play scenarios, and I thought, how can I bring a toy to life and make it a lot more fun? And at the same time, my one-year-old was starting to learn about emotions, and all I could find were boring baby books. And I thought, I could probably tie in this idea for both uses. So I created this doll that changes faces six times. It helps teach kids emotions, and it helps uh, their pretend play even that more fun. So the way it works is you turn the knob, you get a face, and each face is double-sided. So you go from surprise to angry, to surprised again, no, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> to happy, and then to sad, which little ones love to nurture the sad face, to sleeping, which is great for naps and for bedtime, and to amused. So, um, there's a joke in the house, there's a base for it. <laughs> so that is truly the entrepreneurial spirit of see a need, fill a need. Because you brought two different concepts that you understood from children's books as well as a, a topic missing from uh, stuffed animals as you know it. How would you describe what the process was like in creating this toy? How long did it take you to go from idea to deliverable, i.e. this lovely toy that we're holding in our hands. But first, let me ask you one more question. Where would one get this toy, just in case people don't watch the entire interview? <laughs> okay, most importantly, <laughs> you can find these really fun toys on our website, which is called whatsitsface.com, exactly how it sounds, and also on Amazon. And then there is a special promotion for our viewers that's going on right now. Yeah. So if you go to our website and you enter a discount code, and that is 20 smiles, you'll get 20% off your entire order. So you heard Joanne. Go to their website, whatsitsface.com, and, and use the coupon code 20 smiles at checkout and you will save 20% off your order. Unfortunately, that's not available, on, uh, unfortunately the discount is not available on Amazon. However, you can still purchase this wonderful little stuffed animal on Amazon, but save the money on their website, support an entrepreneur. So back to the question, what was the process of like of building this toy and bringing it from idea to actual deliverable product of a cute little stuffed animal? Okay, so one word, grueling, <laughs> and it took five years and a lot of uh, perseverance, um, you know, a lot of pitfalls down the road, uh, but, you know, it, uh, being a graphic designer, I was able to, um, to make a pretty fun prototype, uh, which I then took to a 3D printer, and uh, they, in 
engineered the mechanism inside the head. Uh, 3D printing, it has just really helped uh, on, uh, inventors and uh, startups, and thank God for that. So once they did that, I found a manufacturer, and uh, the rest is history. They really you know, <laughs> they did a really good job. Yes, my advice though is to really find a great manufacturer, someone you trust, and ask lots of questions before you uh, engage with them. So you almost add, you try and uh, prepare for the worst case and best case scenario by asking every question, and probably a lot like other things, you try and look for commonalities in those answers so that you know that what the industry standards might be. Yes, and the toy industry was completely new to me, so I had to do a lot of homework before um, exposing my intellectual property to a third party. Because mm -hmm. so, you want them to protect your patent and intellectual yeah, property. Yeah, and, and, and also, you know, manufacturing is new to me. Mm -hmm. Um, so there was a, a lot of uh, upfront work I had I had to do. So um, you know, research as much as you can. <laughs> so, um, what is the ideal age group for these lovely little toys? So, um, just to know, it is uh, it was safety tested for kids zero plus. Um, so when kids are very very young, their parents can operate the toy and change the bases and teach their kids motions. As the kid uh, grows older, um, it's fun for preschool because um, that is the uh, biggest age for when kids really uh, experiment with pretend play and, um, you know, work with different emotions with their stuffed animal. And, um, and it's also just a really nice uh, toy for that age to bond. Nice. I don't know about you, but I had my little stuffed animal that I took everywhere. And, uh, you know, so this is just a fun fun toy for that because they can really, you know, connect with it. Yeah, I had a stuffed animal dog that I took everywhere. My brother took his stuffed animal, Barry Bear, uh, everywhere, slept with it. It was a wonderful experience. And the other thing that, um, one of the things you mentioned to me when we were off film is that these toys are also really good for teaching emotional intelligence to kids and helping kids with autism learn emotional intelligence because that can be a barrier that they just don't recognize the face and what you know Absolutely. that emotion is. Absolutely. So when um, I developed this, um, I learned that children uh, with autism who are on the spectrum have a hard time distinguishing different facial expressions. So this is uh, just a really great tool to help teach them about different emotions because then not just they're not just looking at a book, they're actually interacting with the toy, and um, you know it's a fun way to uh, teach emotional intelligence. Play uh, teaching while playing is a very powerful. Very true, very true. I've been blessed to know a number of kids my age with autism as well as um, date some wonderful women who as they've grown up and learned that, you know, about emotional intelligence. And you realize sometimes that you have to um, display more emotional expression um, instead of, and let your words truly reflect what you're saying. So it's great to have something that teaches kids uh, emotional experiences um, as well while they are hopefully not crying. <laughs> <laughs> so um, where um, so where can you once again where can you get this toy so that way our viewers can take advantage of it? Uh, so uh, our website is what's its face just like it sounds what what's its face dot com. <laughs> cool. So on what's its face Remember viewers, in the description there's a 20% discount and direct link to the website for whatsitsface.com. You can also get the item on amazon.com, but unfortunately there is not a discount code tied to that. Now, um, I'm just gonna wrap it up. If you have any questions for Joanna, the inventor, please, please, please show a little happy face <laughs> and, or a sad face. And put your questions and comments uh, below, and we will make sure we get them over to Joanna and give Joanna the link to this video so that she.
can answer some of those questions directly. So that way you can not only learn about the toy and where to get it, obviously, she can share that, but you can also um, have some of your questions answered that might portray you how it would help your child. So once again, whatsitsface.com and discount in the description below. This will help children from zero on up and it's great for kids to learn emotional intelligence and help kids with autism um, who might have a challenge learning that because we are all people and we all deserve love and thank you for joining me in this video. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so we're here at Lays Air Aesthetic Health again, and uh, we want to thank uh, Joanna for bringing by four of these wonderful toys for boys and girls for Toys for Tots. Um, as you have seen earlier in the video, that um, these are great for kids of any age and can be purchased on whatsitsface.com. So once again, thank you for bringing by four of these wonderful to four, one, two, three, four <laughs> of these wonderful toys for Toys for Tots. I hope some of the kids in the Denver, Colorado area truly enjoy it. Thank you.